and i am vk tamilni who have completed bsc psychology in phd krishnamal college for women coimbatore currently i am preparing for civil service examination and i had behind my nptel journey four years back and it is still following me i had completed 13 courses till now and it's still counting on my domain is humanities and social sciences it is a great domain to explore and actually it all started when the fight came with uh, between my brother and me it was like who will read more and who will go out like that it all started and he is now saying you went in flight to go and attend the meeting so next i am going to start my nptel courses list and he is just studying 9th standard and he is asking me to enroll in some course and i wanted to start preparing for it and i wanted to thank some members over here first of all i thank my mother uh, mrs sp kumudam she is an entrepreneur she has encouraged me through my learning journey and i thank my father dr ram vengdajalam director libraries and student affairs of case rangasamy college of technology tirchangod he was uh, the one who showed me this platform uh, when i was completing my 12th standard he told me about this nptel and all the opportunities present over here and thanks for him and i thank dr m mandrachalam librarian uh, and he is the spoc of coimbatore institute of technology who helped me to know more about the domain scholar and i thank uh, mr tangadurai he is spoc of case rangasamy college of technology tirchangod who also helped me a lot throughout this journey and i thank J dr jerish kelias and mrs k spavialni they are my mentors throughout my journey and uh, last but not the least i thank nptel for creating such an amazing working library to build enriched learners all over india and um, Uh, to say some suggestions and feedback uh, first of all i suggest nptel to add more courses in this domain based on current affairs it uh, it's like uh, for example the beginning of this decade it saw the 2020 it was full of pandemic and uh, the mental health was the one which was to be given importance more of so some courses like importance of mental health relationship management positive life goals it will be very helpful i think so and at the world level if we see uh, it will be the lgbtq problem which is going on and uh, our people uh, maybe if we say that we are uh, going ahead but we are not so much and we don't have so much awareness ab about those problems also so uh, many countries have accepted it as a law but it's just in papers and not in reality so um, i think uh, the courses like gender psychology would do better uh, in which would be if added in nptel all the learners the youth generation will be very fruitful with it and in the morning in the spoc meeting when i was attending over i heard the forum discussion how it could be made fruitful i thought actually i also don't attend the forum discussions but uh, i thought if it was a fun part or fun activity like giving assignments or giving some uh, basic ideas about how the classes went on so then i think so it will be made engaging Uh, the students feel that just a clearing of doubts won't help if it is made like everyone want to interact like how we do it in a class or in a class whatsapp group then it will be fruitful uh, some persons may be interested in creative writing some may be interested in art so if we give them a chance uh, regarding the course they can say whatever they want so if we give a platform like that for them they'll be able to enrich their skills and uh, they can uh, show their skills which other members also may be seeing over and the second one about the courses uh, many spoc told that uh, our students are forced to, to take the course actually it is real in our college also they'll be saying take ax our department was the first set in psc krishnamal so they didn't inform us about anything about nptel uh, my father was the one who introduced it to me uh, in other departments it was like forcing them to take the course it was an advanced course my juniors came to me saying that we don't know anything about it we don't know a single term about it how could we read about it so a bba student is take, taking something advanced which an mba person would be doing like that so i think so it should not be made mandatory to uh, do these courses and all those things so it will be helpful for them if it is like that and finally i thank everyone for this opportunity selfishness ends where selflessness begins so read today to lead tomorrow thank you i am umma pradeep from rajapalayam uh i was introduced to the nptel platform uh, uh during my diploma in 2014 i think uh i was not so interested during that time 
uh, after that uh, during 2015 or 16 uh, i was referring to the nptel videos uh, for uh, 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 nptel videos and uh, cd uh, videos during my studies uh, but i i don't know that uh, there is something called the nptel exam that exists uh, then uh, during 2017 i came to know about the nptel exams and i took uh, one course uh, which is uh, sustainability life cycle assessment uh, yeah uh, that uh, m- gave me more interest towards uh, learning i strongly believe that uh, uh, mere force forcing uh, cannot make you learn more things Uh, then i took uh, m- many courses uh, uh, the most uh, favorite professor uh, is from iit madras uh, mr devdas menon he is my favorite uh, professor i learned a lot from him uh, yeah he he teaches about uh, life and uh, yeah. uh, first class i took from his from uh, him is uh, uh, design of reinforced concrete uh, structures then i took uh, that those uh, life uh, uh, structural analysis and uh, uh, he teaches about life for, for uh, like integral karma yoga and uh, everything um, i after that uh, i started taking courses uh, m- more and more uh, i have completed about uh, 28 uh, courses with certificate and uh, 28 yeah wow. 28 and uh, more than 60 courses without certification i have learned from npt uh, i am arsha kumaran i am currently uh, pursuing my ms in iit madras in the department of uh, metallurgical and materials engineering but when i did those npt i actually completed 11 npt courses when i completed those 11 courses i was a student of srm institute of science and technology watapandi campus pursuing my btech in mechanical engineering so i took my first nptel course that is uh, fluid mechanics uh, the course was conducted by iit guwahati in 2019 i took that course in 2019 uh, but then during this uh, covid pandemic time i started learning a lot of courses in nptel that is in a single semester i started taking three courses four courses like that so uh, the most uh, important thing what i feel is obviously by nptel courses i learned a lot but more than that i learned the art of learning new things that is the important thing which i feel i could because uh, by learning uh, nptel courses uh, i learned how to efficiently learn new things within a short span of time because during uh, that time the, during my first nptel believe i got in 2020 by completing four courses at that time what i felt is i also i felt that i was also able to perform well in my academics in my college because i thought when i take nptel courses it may be a diversion so that i may not score well but the vice versa the other thing happened that is i scored well in my academic exams also uh so the thing continued so i took more courses in nptel at the same time i also scored well in my my college also at last i became a topper in my university so uh Ah, uh, one more thing in NPTEL is, I didn't take courses which are only specific to my domain, that is mechanical engineering, because NPTEL offers a variety of courses, and so I also took courses from a variety of domains. For example, ah, uh, apart from my course subjects, I took a course in introduction to ah uh, history of architecture in India, one course conducted by S. R. Pune, and I took another course in ah uh, introduction to Japanese language and culture. conducted by uh, iit kanpur uh, then i took a course called toyota production system uh, conducted by iit roorkee so like this i took many co- uh, because npl offers a plethora of courses so that we can learn whatever we want because the approach what uh, then i told it uh, made me learn efficiently to give a small example before in ptl what i used to do before i came to know about in ptl what i used to do is if i want to learn some new things means i'll go to library or i'll take some books i'll uh, read about that so it consumed a lot of time but in it, but nowadays what i'm doing is nowadays means after uh, started learning in nptel what i decided to do is whenever i want some doubts 
I'll immediately go to uh, YouTube and I'll search the, for example, if you want to know uh, thermodynamic cycles, immediately I'll search thermodynamic cycles in PTL in YouTube. So I will get a series of lectures in that. And so that, not only that thing, but I was able to learn even a lot of things. Uh, so by this way, I think I got benefited. And not only me, uh, some of my friends also took NPTEL courses uh, by, by getting inspired from me. So I think uh, NPTEL is a good initiative and uh, it can be continued further. Suggestions is uh, actually, I okay, the one unique thing what I found, not unique thing, one thing what I found in NPTEL is because I attended NPTEL exams also for a particular subject and sim similarly I attended GATE exam also uh, in that subject. So I think the level of difficulty in NPTEL is not that as of GATE exam because GATE exams difficulty is very high. But I think it is a good stepping stone to go there because initially I felt that if a student directly uh, attends GATE exam, he may, uh, he, if he doesn't do well, he may get frustrated or he may feel sad. So NPTEL serves as a step before it. So if he attends, the, because I did that, I attended a, a, a NPTEL exam in a particular course, and the same exam, and the same uh, in the gate exam also when I attended, I felt it very useful. So uh, NPTEL serves as motivating everyone. That is initially not giving a very too difficult thing because we have discussion forums. Yeah, discussion forums were uh, very helpful to us, not only to me but many of my fellow students. So suggestions means when we ask. Yeah, we can arrange for more in-person interactive sessions because that is the only thing I felt that I was lacking, but that also was, uh, made possible today. So when every student attends a course, at least once in a once during the course duration, we can arrange for an in-person meeting. We already have online meetings, but we can arrange for in-person meetings so that I think it would be helpful. Uh, and we can also build our contacts. I think this is the one suggestion. I'm Aspriya Dashni from Kadalur. Uh, first of all, thank you for NPTEL for the recognition as uh, NPTEL Discipline Star and also for the opportunity for uh, sharing my words. Um, my journey with NPTEL was uh, started on the first day of my uh, college days. Uh, in the orientation program, they have stated that uh, there is uh, something about honors degree. For pursuing honors degree, I have set it as a goal and uh, started learning in NPTEL and um, in four to five semesters I have completed nine courses by earning uh, 23 credits but um, uh, although my thought has been fulfilled um, by the universities um, but the knowledge which, have, which I have gained from the NPTEL has explored me a lot towards the academics. Uh, so, uh, the, I have gained lots of knowledge and exposure beyond my academics and um, uh, at current uh, they have stated that uh, my honours degree would, would not be passed by the Anna University um, but I, um, although it, it does not uh, satisfy my goal but the knowledge which I have gained from the NPTEL has been boosted up and uh, encouraged me to continue, uh, still continuing the courses towards the NPTEL. Thank you. And um, be civil engineering, final years. From my, uh, final year from IFT College of Engineering. Uh, sustainable transportation system, safety in construction, um, Earth Science in Civil Engineering Part 1 and 2, so GPS Surveying and uh, GIS. Um, yes, sir. Um, I have developed my domain knowledge through this NPTEL lot, sir. That's the thing I'm still thinking on, sir. Um, because I have, uh, last year I have cleared the gate with the eligible criteria score. But now I am currently trying for gate exam. If I cleared it, I would uh, place in IIT. Um, if not, I have to uh, go for any other options. So, um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Shweta. Uh, I'm from Coimbatore. Um, first of all, thank you very much for you professors for conducting this workshop. This actually means a lot to me. Coming to IIT Madras, like wow, it's a big thing. Um, and I'm actually embarrassed to say that I only completed four NPTEL courses, like wow. 28, 8, like 13. Wow, that's the, I, uh, in my college, uh, people actually asked me how many NPTEL courses you have completed. I was like four, like, 
wow, you completed four courses. I mean, it's actually a compulsory for us to complete two courses in MPTL. So four in one semester, wow. And now I come here, it's, it's a big thing. Um, so my, I started doing MPTL courses by 2021. Um, um, PSG at Krishna Mall okay. in Coimbatore. By Jan, uh, in the beginning of Jan, I got this WhatsApp message from NPTL. It's a business account, and it came like, "Candidate, you are considered a star candidate for NPTL." And uh, Shweta, you are invited to IIT Madras. I was like, "Heck yeah, I want to come in here." And I applied it. Actually, I was first, um, you know, so conscious whether it's real or not, and it's NPTL. So, and then I got the event confirmation mes message, and it's like awesome. Um, um, uh, my background is commerce, so human resource development, working capital management, and I did one in psychology, brief introduction to psychology, and I didn't, I, I didn't see you staffs in that because most, most of them, I am Rurki and uh, Karakpur. So uh, my suggestion is that please continue doing your uh, job. Okay. It's like, it means a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. My learning started in 2008, okay? After that, uh, nearly this uh, COVID brought me back to this education, UG topper and PG topper in the university rank holder, but I couldn't do anything. So what I did is I started a small lab working in it, uh, like a microalgae, okay? I'm a fishery science graduate, and I am a specialist in uh, fish biotechnology. So when I started working, I thought I can do a PhD. So when I came here, Everyone are busy in doing their works and no classes. So one of the uh, statistics staff said, you can go there and you can learn. So one year I was learning. All whatever I have have a gap, I gain the knowledge through this one. So my topic on research is to find a pupa enhancement in microalgae. So for that, what I learned is to how to promote through metabolic engineering. So I did a course on that. So I want a statistics to do my research. So I did a course on that. Then I want to be an entrepreneur after my PhD. So I did a legal and a IPR. I want to know about it. So I learned a course on that. Then about environment engineering, biotechnology, industrial, and the fermentation. I will work on a fermenter to raise my microalgae. So I did a course on that. Then bioinformatics, I want to uh, find the algae's uh, DNA and its barcoding and everything. So I did a course on that. All about the courses, what I chose, I'm applying now, and I got a result of that. And um, PFI enhancement program is successful. So metabolic engineering is working well there. Okay. Next, uh, the same thing. I designed a media which is of industrial scale. It may be useful in bio diesel in the future. So uh, I'm working on IPR teams and going for a patent uh, application to file it. And uh, uh, FICO R3, FICO signing two. Uh, natural uh, food colorant, okay? I have developed my lab and uh, I have enhanced that through my media. That is all. So three products I'm doing in biotechnology and I'm working on it and uh, through experiment biotechnology, of course I did in NPTEL uh, and I am applying that in HPLC and I'm got a technology to identify the pupa and the DHA uh, with the basic knowledge I got. So a lot of application I have done through this NPDL. So thanks to NPDL, okay. And I'm A. Raja Lakshmi. I did my UG and PG in biotechnology. And currently I'm pursuing PhD in biotechnology. And I submitted my thesis and waiting for my viva. And uh, recently I have joined as assistant professor. And before going to uh, share about the NPTEL details, I would like to, if you permit, I would like to introduce my guru, my PhD professor, Dr. B. Ramesh. and. Uh, so I'd like to introduce him to you because he is the one, he is the one who motivated me to do this NPTEL. Actually, he introduced me this NPTEL course, and initially we didn't know about this uh, any stars or domain categories and everything. He just uh, we just started with uh, CAD computer drug designing, and we both were learning this uh, course together. And he is a professor. Actually, he is a professor and head of the department. He used to sit along with me. He used to sit beside me. And he'll do the assignments with me, and we both uh, written the exam at the same center and it's on the same date. So he's very down to earth, so I would like to mention him. And after knowing about this discipline stars, and uh, he motivated me to do courses in a single discipline, don't go here and there. And he, we chose the biotechnology, and we started selecting courses from that. 
and I completed 11 courses in biotechnology and I got the discipline star certificate and in the last semester I obtained a domain certificate too in computational biology. So he's the uh, one, he motivated me and uh, actually he stopped my PhD work during the examination times he used, he asked me to stop the lab work you go, go and complete that course. And every, not only in all, last, last semester, every semester you used to ask me, are you writing the assignments, are you preparing or not, when is your examination. If I tell the examination, he will remember that and he will ask me, your dates are nearing, no, stop the lab work, don't do the thesis work now, go and do the assignments. So he was motivating me often. So I would like to thank him here. And my first course was with Professor, Professor Mukesh from IIT. And um, uh, he, my professor, uh, Dr. B. Ramesh, he asked me to search for the courses taught by Professor Michael Grumiha sir and he asked me to search the courses for that and uh, we did bioinformatics algorithms uh, under his guidance and um, uh, Professor Ganesh from IIT Kanpur and uh, uh, actually uh, I tried the course but it's very difficult for me so I didn't write the exam under him. Uh, I think I, I tried MATLAB. So, and the one thing I want to know is, uh, many of our students in our college, we are from uh, Sri Shankara Watson Science College, Kanchipuram, and many of our students ask, uh, what is the, is there any uh, like credits or if there is anyone consider for these courses, if you go for a, for a job or any career opportunities. So, if it is made clear in the websites or in the, through any mode, I think many students will enroll. In the very first year, I think 200 students wrote from our college this examination. But uh, after uh, years, many students, they stopped uh, dropping these courses. So, I was continuing this till now. So, this is the one thing many students want to know from our college. Side. So, thank you NPTEL for team for offering these courses. And it will be more uh, useful if you conduct any interactive lab sessions. If we ask the students to come to your IT, IIT labs and if you interact with the lab people. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Now, I the NPTEL. I have a PhD in the NPTEL. I have MOOC course compulsory in the university. I have physics. I have a PhD in the NPTEL. I have a PhD in the NPTEL. I have a PhD in the PhD in the PhD in the now, in a rural area, I am coming. That's why I am here. So, I am not going to the hospital. So, I am going to the hospital. I am going to the hospital. I am going to the the hospital. I the hospital. I Nuclear physics, yes, uh, solid state physics. Prada Parita, sir, Irundar, Yangan Therile, our nuclear nanotechnology, our the Purche, for chemistry and surface physics, Karakpur, IIT Karakpur, Elatim Purche, pass Pandita and Lana in Namula, Yankota, and Namula, Pilate. Upper name, what do you be star, select an eh? Nikala, Yanga College Lendu or Sarah under Kars Post, Aurun Sonar, Viparal, and Namadruna Miller, and the Urpula star, select Ita, IIT Pora. I didn't know how to do this. 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 I didn't but on net exam, in the I was the first year, so we had not gone to the departments yet. We were still you know, learning the basic physics and stuff. So our department called a meeting and they said, look, there's this thing called NPTEL. There were all our seniors were present, our professors were there. They were like, you have to go, you have to go apply, give it a shot, it'll be nice. They tried, they tried to... I was like, okay, what is this? I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Which college? Uh, Kumar Guru, sir. I am from KCT. I am a mechanical engineer, third year. So yeah, I still remember uh, one of my seniors, he was like, hey, I'll play soon, man, the, in, the <laughs> deadline is coming. <laughs> we got, uh, it was, I think the deadline was like in January, it was uh, December, he was like, the deadline is coming, I'll play fast. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> that, that was basically the attitude. So, uh, you know, given all this pressure from the mechanical department, they said, take some core subject. Very naturally, I took um, effective writing. <laughs> So I was like, okay, we'll go try something else. So I, this date, I don't think I've uh, taken any mechanical course. <laughs> I just, I just try to explore as much as I can, you know, go for all the different courses. And you no, know, why stop at one? You know, I had time. 
it was online. So I was like, okay, we'll take two more. <laughs> that basically that happened for two more semesters. Uh, so that's how I ended up here. Um, so yeah, that. that <laughs> I, I tried to primarily focus on design thinking and courses like that. And I think my favorite course was design thinking, a primer by one of the IIT Madras uh, professors. I forgot his name. Uh, I'm Akash. I'm just a bit nervous to speak. It's been a long time I came up to the stage because I'm from college, uh, from Panimula Institute. Uh, there will be no events like, uh, like cultural events or whatever it may be. So we don't uh, go you to the stage. You know you're being recorded in telecast. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Most of that about our college. Ah, uh, no, I'm doing final year. No, so <laughs> since I'm final year, it's not a issue. Uh, so I'm doing final year mechanical engineering. So uh, basically, in first year, I was introduced to NPTEL by some of our professors, but it was not uh, informed to everyone. We just went to the website. And uh, first time, I was not aware much about how to use NPTEL and how to access. So I just joined in uh, the computer science department. I, I, I did, I think, introduction to 4.0. And uh, later on, I just came to know NPTEL gives uh, a variety of courses, even to other domains like mechanical engineering. And I did uh, 10 courses. And I passed out uh, eight and even failed two mm -hmm. in uh, two of the courses in mechanical engineering. And uh, later on, uh, now I'm not able to concentrate much more because in COVID period, uh, I had time and I was able to concentrate a lot of things into the courses. And uh, some, uh, I've even done additional five courses, but I've not done any exams for that. Uh, I just did in my free time. So this was the NPTEL course journey for me. Uh, yeah, almost uh, six to seven courses from NP uh, Mechanical. And um, favorite course was power plant engineering, which was from my domain. I don't know the professor name. I don't remember him. Uh, assignments I used to complete. If there is a eight week course, I'll uh, try to manage six or seven courses because we can skip one, right? So I'll skip one. Uh, myself, Abhinav, uh, from Pratisha Engineering College, Thiruvallur. Uh, Pratisha Engineering College from Thiruvallur. Uh, in my college also, there was no any cultural activities. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they only forced for uh, academics only. Not a major cultural activity to stand and talk. <laughs> anyway. Uh, they only focus on academics only. Mm. Uh, they compelled to take NPTEL courses. Compelled? Okay. <laughs> uh, but they compelled to take uh, the current semester courses to... Okay. Uh, manage the courses, okay. uh, but I will not uh, take that course and I will take only difficult course to oh, okay. uh, challenge these courses mm -hmm. uh, and I have completed six courses in that. Uh, I am Ashwin Kumar from VIT Vellore and uh, currently I am pursuing my mechanical engineering and I am in my second year right now. Actually uh, everything started in June when I got an official mail from my college that I can take uh, one course from NPTEL that is MOOC, Massive Open Online Courses and that credit will be transferred to my current BTEC uh, credit list. So I was allowed to take only one course but uh, I mean uh, it's an open elective where I am asked to complete 12 credits. So I wanted to complete the whole 12 credits in one semester. So what I did, I registered for six courses and I checked the dates properly that the exam date student class mm -hmm. and uh, I planned everything perfectly. And then I completed the courses and I got the portal on my website that Ashwin, it's time for you to upload your certificates which you have completed in NPTEL. Since only one certificate was allowed, what I did, I merged all the six certificates, <laughs> made a single PDF and uploaded that on the site. Next day, the academic coordinator called me and said, Ashwin, you are smart, but we are not full. You, you cannot upload six certificates for three credits. I mean, I asked him why can't I complete the whole 12 credits in a single semester. So after little arguments, I was forced to upload only one certificate and coincidentally uh, the course for which I chose to submit was entrepreneurship which was offered by IIT Madras and it was really uh, one of the best courses which I had done. And uh, once I got the mail that I had been selected as NPTEL star and got invitation from IIT Madras, then again I said that I will be doing more than four courses this semester. <laughs> And I have registered four courses. Again, I'm going to argue with my academic coordinator. 
but let's see will he allow or not but really it was a fantastic journey completing six courses in a single semester gave me the idea that what i'm going to face in my third year mm -hmm. so because uh, i mean in mechanical engineering as i am said right now i mean just my second year mm -hmm. my seniors tell that third year is fully application based courses so right then i need to focus a lot on my uh, courses offered by vit so right then i guess i will be able to manage them because i had already managed six courses in nptl mm -hmm. so thanks a lot i had no proper idea that my college won't allow me to uh, make re transfer for all the six courses mm -hmm. i mean the all six courses were in entirely different directions okay one was ai mm -hmm. the other was patent drafting mm -hmm. third one was entrepreneurship fourth one was developing soft skill mm -hmm. fifth one was body language <laughs> and sixth one i don't remember i Uh, thermodynamics is yes, thermodynamics in fact my professor said how were you able to do all these courses they are not at all correlated and all these courses had prerequisite but it's god's grace that i completed all these six and i have topped in two also but i guess i got 81 in body language if i would have done little hard work i could have got 85 or 86 and then i could have topped that as well so my domain would have changed then uh, i think it's nbtel superstar for uh, after qualifying three after to, uh, topping three courses so that's my journey and uh, hope okay. that this semester also i'll be able to do four courses and we shall meet next time as well if it madras calls us again na en peru varudamuthu b civil engineering well tech engineering college me and structural engineering sri krishna college of technology coimbatore bro na vandittu nptel la 12 courses panniruken 12 கோர்சஸ் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் நிறைய ஸ்டார் சர்டிஃபிகேட் கிடச்சிருக்கு எனக்கு மோட்டிவேட்டர் லேனர்ஸ் டிசிப்ளின் ஸ்டார் பிலீவர் அண்டு இப்போ வந்துட்டு எனக்கு கிடச்சி ரீசெண்டாக கிடச்சது வந்துட்டு டொமைன்ஸ் காலர் சர்டிஃபிகேட் இன் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி ஸோ அதில் வந்துட்டு எனக்கு ரொம்ப பிடிச்ச கோர்சஸ்னா வந்துட்டு மனுசந்தனம் சாரோட அட்வான்ஸ்டு காங்கிரீட் டெக்னாலஜி அண்டு ரவீந்திராகித் சாரோட மாடர்ன் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் அப்புறம் ஐஐடி கான்பூரோட நிறைய கோர்சஸ் அட்வான்ஸ் லெவலில் இருக்கும் சில டைமில் வந்துட்டு இந்த டெவலப்மெண்ட் அண்ட் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஆஃப் ஸ்பெஷல் காங்கிரீட்ஸ் அப்புறம் ஹைட்ரேஷன் போரோசிட்டி ஆஃப் சிமிண்டீசியஸ் மெட்டீரியல் அந்த கோர்ஸஸ்லாம் ரொம்ப அட்வான்ஸ் லெவலில் இருக்கும் நல்லாயிருக்கும் படிக்கிறதுக்கு லேர்ன் பண்ணுறதுக்கு நிறைய ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி கொடுத்ததுக்காக உங்களுக்குலாம் நன்றிங்க சார் அப்புறம் வந்துட்டு ஐடி மெட்ராஸ்க்கு வரணும் நாங்கள் ஐடி மெட்ராஸ் பார்ப்போமா என்னென்னு தெரியல ஐடி மெட்ராஸுக்கு வர வர வச்சதுக்காக ரொம்ப நன்றிங்க சார் என்ன பண்ணுறீங்க இப்போ வந்துட்டு என்ஐடி ருச்சியில் வந்துட்டு ப்ராஜெக்ட் அசோசியேட்டாக ஒர்க் பண்ணிகிட்டு இருக்கேங்க சார் ஆமாங்க சார் so okay like sir said many have uh, been taken this course accidentally same ha same happened with me also before i am basically from mumbai i have done my uh, graduation and post graduation from mumbai university uh, i am biotech background after coming to chennai i came here to pursue my phd and now i am doing my phd in stem cells and regenerative medicine so after coming to here we have four mandatory courses to complete by nptel so i took one is uh, research methodology then next is uh, bioengineering which is from iit bombay so third one is uh, iit uh, bioinformatics and biostatistics both are from i think so iit madras so i selected this four courses four courses because I, okay i came to know we have to learn something we have to take some courses so i decided i will take something which i am weak in which i don't know anything at all so obviously for bio people bio background people maths will be little bit hectic no we don't want to study we don't understand anything so that's why i went to bio statistics then same with computer that's why i took bioinformatics so i really from these four subjects i really want to thank uh, mukesh doble sir from iit madras he took bio statistics course and he taught it very well in detail with like maths is there but maths why bio people are learning where we have to apply it so how we will come to know that was very uh, helpful for me so now i have an idea while up in com during completing my phd i will come to know like what bio data i have to apply where i can even publish one extra paper with that so that is very useful so thanks for that purpose and uh, i would like to thank you all for like she said it's very wow to come to iit madras so even i didn't visited iit bombay mm -hmm. so after coming to chennai this is the first thing which has happened best thing in my life so thank you for that opportunity one suggestion will be that uh, okay we are nptel stars stars so which whoever our phd scholars it will be very grateful if you give opportunity to collaborate with you so it will be very great and uh, we receive uh, nptel uh, learners receive some uh, 
notification or email uh, related to workshops. So I am receiving mails, but it's not related to my subject. It will be related to, so it will be helpful. It's best specific, so we can we can come here and we can do. That's it. Thank you, everyone. I am Shan Baswa Patil. I graduated my PG from Central University of Karnataka. Currently, I'm pursuing my PhD in Savita University. So in our college, it's mandatory to do our coursework in NPTEL only. For that sake, I selected uh, NPTEL courses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so actually, four courses I have to register in order to complete. So I registered for five subjects. If I fail in one subject, at least I can clear one uh, four uh, I can show to my uh, dean research. So after selecting those courses, uh, I was topper in two subjects and uh, three I got silver. So what I want to say is like, uh, this is something new they have initiated, started, and it is good for all of us uh, because all these are from, uh, they, are, uh, uh, they are good in their basics. So they are going to start every first chapter, first week from the basics, basic concepts. For us, the development and application of special concrete, uh, Sudhir Mishra, sir, what is concrete actually? Started from basic, what is concrete? As we all are familiar here actually, so in concrete, we are going to use cement, sand, water, and coarse aggregate. This is all familiar. But the way they are going to explain, that is actually, you know, uh, we used to uh, uh, go in depth in that one, especially that uh, concrete when it comes to, as we all are familiar now, all constructions are going, you metro constructions uh, and other things. They are all built up of with the concrete itself. Uh. So I'm very interested in that one. So after that, uh, I selected three other courses also. So totally, I completed five subjects. But here, uh, they have completed 11, 12, 18 courses. So currently, I registered for two more subjects. Uh, it's very interesting only, sir. Sir, myself, Bob Balan from Savita School of Engineering. So I'm doing a PhD in, I'm doing PhD, a full-time research in Savita School of Engineering, Chennai. Um, uh, before I go, before I started my research work, uh, they insisted they, they insisted me for uh, mandatory uh, insisted me insisted me for uh, doing a uh, uh, four courses uh, as a NPTEL courses. Uh, first, I registered two courses. Uh, one paper is metal characterization. Another one is uh, research methodology. Uh, in in uh, sorry, research methodology I got passed. And one more paper is uh, metal characterization. Um, that paper, uh, but before uh, registering uh, NPTEL paper, I know that every exam is online, but uh, metal characterization alone is offline mode exam. Yeah. I got uh, much more uh, um, a problem for that paper. Uh, uh, Professor Dr. Shankar in IIT Madras was uh, uh, taken that paper, but it's uh, that paper is uh, good for mechanical engineering uh, um, curriculum. Um, as well as for my research domain also, it's very important for uh, uh, many aspects. Uh, many number of tests or test, uh, testing for, uh, testing uh, methods uh, they are uh, um, included in that paper metal characterization. After that, uh, I worried much more for um, um, uh, God fail in metal characterization. But even though my guide uh, um, supporting me for uh, uh, do the many number of uh, papers for for the time, but I have registered five papers for the last semester. I got, I got passed for all five papers. Uh, three papers I got the silver. Uh, Great. Oh, wow. uh, two papers, uh, so one paper is elite and one paper is normal. normal. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, other friends, uh, they are um, uh, much more excited. Uh, mm -hmm. because, why? Because of, um, I have completed five papers in at a time. Mm -hmm. Somebody there, they got uh, pass in one paper, one paper and two paper. They struggle much more. Uh, they are excited and um, giving uh, motivation for me for again and again. But even though for what's the uh, importance for NPTEL exam for um, all courses, Especially for me, it is very important to um, my research work. Uh, it's compost uh, composite metal is, is my domain, sir. That is uh, that all those papers are very important for me, especially for introduction to composite and then mechanical behavior of materials, and then um, uh, advanced machining process. Those papers very useful for us to go in depth for my research work. I also gain a lot more knowledge from those and Peter papers. I also insisted. Uh, uh, for uh, beginners, NPTEL beginners, uh, um, are restoring many number of courses uh, to get more knowledge as well as to gain more knowledge in future. Thank you. So in here, thanks a uh, lot for uh, NPTEL team. Uh, I'm really proud to be here. Okay. This is the first experience for me, IIT Madras. Okay. I, I thank um, very much, sir. I know that the University of Anna University Chennai, CG building, as well as the director of technical education. I, I 
visited i have visited many times anand university and then uh, dots sir but uh, i don't know iit madras where is there uh, where is the I, i don't know the clear uh, location sir but it may be there opposite to anand university hmm. now only You're i uh, <laughs> i reached sir i i'm really proud sir to be here thank you very much i am kishan a i am a bachelor of engineering in computer science engineering student uh, department in rmd engineering college uh in third semester i started a single course in that is the joy of computing using python i completed that and i got a silver medal so i thought the next semester we will uh, try to so i completed uh, these two courses in next so what we can do we can do an increase uh, increment here and we can try the three courses in the last semester so i actually didn't know about this uh, in pillars discipline stars or any stars uh, actually then when i completed this uh, courses i this is a mail that i have uh, selected as an entry discipline sir then only i know what is the criteria or other things about that sir so uh, i am plan to, to take four courses in this semester sir as a increment so good afternoon one and all present here i am yashwant kumar from uh, and i am currently doing my b civil engineering at uh, rmk engineering college i came to know about npital through my college Uh, my first, I started my uh, doing my NPTEL courses from first semester. First, uh, they have insisted us to do courses uh, forcefully. Then later on, uh, I developed interest after uh, doing much more courses. Then after a uh, few courses, um, I gained much more knowledge, and it was uh, very much useful. and uh, came to know about many real life uh, scenarios especially in my domain so thank you npital for uh, providing this opportunity and my so all courses you have taken are in civil engineering actually i have done, completed seven courses which are uh, out of which five are from civil sir okay the rest two i done in uh, science and humanities uh, the course which i liked was uh, basic construction materials which was uh, taken from iit madras so that was the only course where i saw each and every video completely personally i so that was the course uh, which i personally liked it and uh, i found it uh, very interesting okay so once again i thank npital for uh, inviting us to iit madras which I, which is a wonderful campus <laughs> so, and thank you uh, good evening to one and all present here i am jashwant tesar from rmd engineering college i am pursuing btech computer science and business system third year actually my story also same extension <laughs> extension entry but i want to thank my hod dr g amuda because um, i don't know about the domain studies uh, domain based nptel courses i just only know there are courses we have to study we have to get credits that's all but she insisted me to travel towards the domain because Uh, many students uh, do not know what to do next in your future if you if you decide to get a path towards any domain for example any front end or data science or machine learning or programming whatever it is we will get a certainty about our future and also we will feel secure about our future like that i decided to go towards data science this is also one of the interesting story because Uh, first year fully it's uh, online courses uh, online courses only during that time uh, my max dr g ganapati who took uh, linear algebra Th- that was a very interesting course i had studied ever in my life because i actually till my 12th standard i had max and chemistry <laughs> especially chemistry if chemistry sir comes i will faint <laughs> that much i like hey chemistry but after i started to get engaged with linear algebra i had more interest towards mathematics unknowingly and also i got engaged towards uh, python programming also so i decided i i get travel toward data science so i st- i completed three core co- three core courses and one elective course and i di- and i need to complete two more courses to get uh, data science domain and also i, I have achieved nptel believer and nptel enthusiasts within one year Uh, my suggestion is uh, to reduce the cost of the nptel courses uh, beca- because uh, all the students are fearing that 1000 rupees we have to pay how it is possible 
and and in my first uh, actually i started to wrote this only in fourth semester only at the time when i passed five exams all the students asked yappura <laughs> so that's the case so they are passing or passing 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 and also for paying the fees 5000 5000 only now so they are they are afraid of that cost only sir so if possible based on the financial constraint may uh, i am working as an assistant professor and i am from thiruvallur one thing i regret about nptel is i came to know about nptel in my pg days only if i came to know about uh, it in ug maybe i would have completed more than uh, you know now i've completed 30 courses in nptel i've started it in uh, 2019 uh, when i started it i couldn't register i registered uh, i registered i tried to register but then i didn't so i thought of taking three courses in the next semester i've uh, you know registered for uh, three courses and i passed in all the courses then again in the following semester i registered for six courses wow. then it still continuing um and uh, uh, initially i didn't know anything about the categories uh, believer achiever npdl achiever and uh, enthusiast and uh, discipline star and uh, domain scholar after getting my believer certificate and enthusiast certificate only i came to know about okay things are there categories are there so i can work for it so you are all from most of you are all from engineering background and i am from literature background mm. yes uh, the first course which i was uh, enrolled was um, victorian short story it was uh, okay. yes it was by professor divya yeah. iit and i've done courses uh, of all the humanities staff here yeah, i mean humanities professors here yeah. uh, one thing i like about nptel is uh, i mean uh, for my discipline uh, i really admire their way of teaching especially their methodology methodology that's really inspired me a lot and uh, the way they offer interpretation to the, to the text that was really interesting you know uh, these things uh, it has helped me in my mphil research so thank you for this wonderful opportunity for uh, visiting iit because uh, though i started in chennai this is the first time i am coming here thank you nptel and thank you professor and i would like to ask one thing how will you design a course i mean 12 weeks course because uh, the content it's very vast and you have to refer a lot of materials and books how long it will take you to this i mean uh, um, design a 12 week course good evening everyone i am vijay shankar i am doing my phd in amrita vishwavidyapeetham university amritapuri kollam in kerala so i uh, assigned myself to these nptel courses when i was doing my mtech in uh, amrita vishwavidyapeetham university coimbatur campus so i have got uh, have received two nptel believer certificates uh, one motivator learner and one nptel discipline star and i got two of these uh, very nice t-shirts <laughs> so thank you for that uh, i am rakshi i am in my final year of btech biotechnology from satyavarma institute of science and technology i got to know about this course from my senior when i was in my first semester because uh, the portions that i study in my college seemed to be very less for me so i wanted to do something more so i asked her about this she told me nptel is a platform for doing this so i started doing right from my first semester one thing that i uh, interested in doing about nptel courses is that uh, it helps me to switch my domains and learn and that is when i participated in bio hackathon and got a prize national level prize it was because of this nptel course i learned bioinformatics so apart from what biotechnology is i learned python data science and all of that and uh, that is something this this gives a Uh, impactful like to switch your domain and learn more and this this acts like a bridge so in that way i would like to thank nptel uh, one suggestion would be i would um, ask nptel teachers to upgrade their uh, courses uh, something that updated knowledge should be added up when when it comes to biotechnological domain i couldn't find uh, related to what is happening right now something related to crispr uh, or related to our dna technology and all is is a bit missing so that can be added more so that's it thank you what about 
about your favorite courses you're saying my bioengineering was my favorite course which was by dr sanjeev sir i suppose yeah sh- yeah yeah so that course was very favorite for me and uh, i am right now writing one book chapter on it so that has made a very big impact in me so i would like to plan bachelor's bachelor's i'm planning to do my masters sir. so again that is the main reason i told like it is bridging my bio bio and data science i like i have already done courses in artificial intelligence also so I, so this has given me a platform to combine both and bring up a good uh, research out of it so thank you for that i am priyanka i am doing my third year biotechnology in rajalakshmi engineering college and i think it's a part of uh, nptel's locus chapter yes, my yes, college yes. yeah and a lot of people do nptel courses in my college and they kind of promote it in my college mm. and i have to confess something i've never watched even one uh, nptel video in normal speed so <laughs> <laughs> So yeah so um I took a biotechnology because of three reasons one I didn't want to look cliche taking computer science two uh, I wanted to do my pg abroad so it's kind of like a good course to um ask my parents to let me do my pg abroad and uh, third third thing is I loved molecular biology in my 12th grade so these are the reasons i took bio- biotechnology and in my first year we had all uh, other uh, courses in engineering basically we don't have our core courses and uh, yeah, we have computer science and maths which i'm very good at so i thought i'll rock my college days but uh, in second year we came into the department and i was filled with ex- existential crisis i i'm a, i'm a, my memory is very bad so i wasn't very good at biology um and i'm a very restless person i probably have adhd so i couldn't sit sit down in my classes uh, i used to sleep all the time <laughs> and um i'm good at self learning rather than sitting in classes so and that's how my sec- that's how my second year started and that's when my professor started promo- promoting the nptel courses and uh, i thought i'll look into uh, how i could uh, you know motivate myself and um, um make myself look um make myself you know uh, um like uh, look look better than the other people in the crowd so i looked into the domains and then uh, as i'm good at math and programming bioinformatics uh, gained my eye and uh, uh, i thought i'll give it a try and so i took up three courses like i'm not studying at college anyway so let's take three courses and do this <laughs> better than that and uh, i took up three courses and then um once i started learning at my own pace uh, i started to love the subjects and the bioinformatics course was a really good one um and it it it, it was focused more on the algorithms on which the websites and databases were uh, based on rather than the biological part of it so i i completely loved it and um yeah sometimes i was pretty lazy to watch the videos every week so i looked into the text transcripts and <laughs> finished my assignments but at the uh, nearing the exams i somehow finished uh, all the portions and uh, attended the exam uh, i was also, i also received 5% topper in my uh, in one of the uh, subjects like data analysis so i i did three courses in my uh, third sem and uh, three courses in my fourth sem and uh, in the in my fourth sem i got 2% topper in one of the courses computers uh, computer aided drug design yes and which for which i was also given an opportunity to do an internship under and i'm waiting for the results and uh, yeah i think it would be an opportunity for me to even do my final year project in iit which i would love to and yeah i'm planning to do my pg abroad and also i uh, i heard many of you say that uh, um for as a negative feedback that the cost is too high but as my college is part of the local chapter they give us a particular refund for the medal we get so i used to pay for the courses from my dad's uh, account and nptel gives me pocket money <laughs> as cash so and and i don't have any negative feedbacks either uh, myself as one uh, a pre final year student uh, btech biotechnology from satya bama uh, as everyone said uh, i also accidentally fell into the <laughs> nptel um, and also i completed uh, at, at the first time i have just to cho- cho- choose to, uh, three subjects and i have passed in uh, two 
uh, in which I doesn't study for three also, but I don't know how I passed in two subjects itself. Oh my God, really? <laughs> yes. Uh. I was busy with other works and I, I forgot that the exam is coming. Mm. And uh, during the exam, I was just uh, going written blindly, but I passed in two exams. Oh. God's grace. Uh, and um, at the next semester I registered for five examinations mm. and I wrote five also uh, but I failed in one uh, through which I lost my uh, domain certificate of uh, in a bio, bio sciences okay. um, but other than that uh, um, I get two uh, elite I guess elite I guess um, NPTEL NPTEL, or like it helps me to like search various domains other than like uh, sticking into the biology. I, I just uh, passed through the uh, psychological domain and also German language. Yeah, German one. Yeah, okay. yeah, German. Mm -hmm. And also other various subjects I have just studied, but I have not registered for examinations. So like exa for example, uh, organ bioprinting, I have just studied completely, but I have never registered for examination. And also, I guess. Mathematical modeling in uh, dynamics biology. I completed it fully, but I have not uh, uh, opted for examination. Like that, I have uh, studied many interdisciplinary subjects, but I have, I have not uh, opted everything for examination. Uh, the main reason is for financial <laughs> stuff. <Thank you. laughs> if I keep on asking for everything, for and also there is a restriction is maximum six uh, uh, per semester, and also in the same day, two examinations too tough to study at the same day so because I'm like how I see the videos was uh, if today is the exam I will just sit at the yesterday's night and I will completely watch the 12 weeks video at okay. at a stretch. Wow. <laughs> I am like binge watching as serious uh, and also then thanks to LP, NPTEL so uh, as I enter the uh, IITM for the first time okay. uh, during my school itself uh, I, I was like I have a uh, very desire to study in the IIT but I can't so right now I entered on all and I also like uh, during the December I, I went to IIT uh, sorry, NIT NITT for our workshop uh, then the, in the time I was just saying like this 2022 is going to over so by the way by by the end of the 2023 I, I must go to IITM for any workshop but at the starting of the 2023 itself, I received the mail to, we are uh, we are inviting you to IITM I'm Basant, a uh, final mechanical student from Rajalakshmi Engineering College. I've done seven courses in mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. I've done seven courses, uh, mostly in design and manufacturing. Mm. I started doing in fifth semester, so I could credit transfer papers and bunk mm. the classes. So I've done product design and development, product design and manufacturing, inspection quality and uh, control, then um, introduction to composites, programming data success using Python, mm. sitting there CMA. Ah, CMA. Yeah. He was sitting there for a while. Did you not see him? Yeah. Which I mean, so what are you what are you going to do after you finishing? Uh, work for one or two years, then for okay. masters. You already have a job. Or? I got Zoho, but I didn't go. I wanted to go for core jobs. Okay. So I rejected Zoho. I mean, so, uh, core placements. Oh, you're still doing going to do core placements. I'm final loops. Okay. So you you're doing now or you? Yeah, final eight semester. You're looking for jobs. Yeah. Okay.